Hey everybody, welcome to Avmax Tying Tuesdays. My name is Brady and today we're going to tie the Micro Mayfly. It's a sweet little fly by Mike Mercer. It's a nice low profile or slim profile Mayfly nip. We're going to tie it on a 2487 here today. And then I have kind of a unique bead or one that you might not see on this pattern. So an MFC, this is the Lucent Tungsten bead in the blood red color. So awesome little bead, great attractor bead. Works well for a Betis style color, kind of gives that red head that you might see on some of your Betis nymphs. So once we have our thread started there, we're gonna go ahead and attach our tailing material, which is just gonna be some natural pheasant tail for this. And we're gonna use three fibers off of it. So we'll go ahead and measure out our length of tail by using that hook shank. And we can transfer that to the back and secure this down. And we'll walk it right on down a little ways, make sure my length is okay. So once we have that tail secure, we'll clip out our extra material. And then we can tie in our ribbing. Just some small copper wire today, you can see. Small copper wire. And secure right on in the back. And then before we go too far ahead to try and keep a slim profile, we're gonna tie in our next material, which is a lot of what makes this pattern unique. It's the peacock curl that we're gonna use, but you can see we already have it stripped. So we pulled all the barbels off of it similar to goose biot or turkey biot. So we'll secure that in right over top and back down to where we ended and then go ahead and cover everything up here. And we can half hitch behind the bead. Go ahead and wrap that peacock curl. Pretty brittle material. When you're going to strip them, you might want to try and pick the thickest ones you have just to help add durability. Gives an awesome look. The stripped peacock curl, you could do a biot in its place, but it's not quite as fine of the segmentation that you get when you actually use this peacock curl. It takes a little extra time to prep it, but it really does the pattern justice when you do. So we'll capture that here. We can clip out that extra material and then go ahead and rib over top of that, also adding durability. And then from here we can start working on our backing and our thorax. So the first thing we're going to use is some pearlescent tinsel as the medium gauge. Just to add a little flashback here. Right on top. It's a killer little fly. I'm sure in many places it's brought me lots of success in the past on a lot of Colorado drainages. not too difficult to tie. If you prep a lot of that peacock curl all at the same time and have it ready to go, it makes life easy. So from there, I'm gonna use some turkey as our backing just over top of that. So don't need too much material there. And that'll go right on top. Could use a number of different backing options. Try to use a lot of naturals just when I can. I don't know how many flies I've lost at the bottom of the river and if they're a natural material, I feel a little bit better about it than leaving synthetics stuck to a log jam or something. 
And then we just kind of find our positioning, not quite halfway back, but pretty close on this fly. And then we're gonna go ahead and dub underneath. And just a little bit of light olive, super fine dubbing for that. One of my most used dubbing, classic material. So don't be afraid to experiment. Sift some of the water that you fish, get some bugs out and then see what materials and colors you think are gonna be the most effective to match those bugs, right? So we're gonna take some pheasant tail to do those legs. And we'll do just a few on either side. If you're really talented, you could do them both at the same time, but I'm gonna do them one at a time. Just pinch a bundle on the far side. Let's spin my thread. And we'll match that bundle on the side closest to me here. You can measure your legs. Try and keep them consistent. There we go. And then we can pull our backing material up and over. So we'll start with that turkey. Kind of get it to lay flat over top. And the flash as well. You can do them both at the same time if you'd like. Those legs going back. There we are. Keep that right on top there. A nice locking wrap. Trim out that excess material. And then we'll whip finish it. And I'm gonna put a little UV right on top. Just to add a bubble to this fly. And I'm gonna use the thick hard formula from Solaraz. It's, I like this one for creating the backing bubbles. You can use a very small amount and it uh, holds itself really nicely, holds its structure. Not too much, because we already have that somewhat bulbous thorax underneath there, but try and cover up most of the top here. and then hit it with your UV lights. And there you have the micro mayfly.